the Meerkat is an upright, static stander with a dynamic feature. The Meerkat is available in three sizes. The size one can accommodate a child as small as 27 inches, while the size three can accommodate a child up to 70 inches with a max user weight of 198 pounds. Some of the standard features of the Meerkat will be the base plate, four swivel locking casters, a height adjustable column, a hex key used for adjustments, and a handle used for the rocker panel. The size two and the size three Meerkat share the same base. The difference is the height of the adjustable column. On a size two, the column will adjust to 39 inches. On a size three, the column will adjust up to 50 inches. The Meerkat base plate will have two sets of tracks. The tracks are used for the sandals. The inner track is used if you desire the user's feet to be closer together, while the outer track can be chosen if you desire the user's feet to be further apart. To insert the sandal into the track, align the bolts on the bottom of the sandal with the insertion points of the track. Once you have aligned the bolts with the insertion point, slide the sandals over into the track. This will allow you forward and aft adjustment. Once you reach your desired adjustment, use the five millimeter tool to tighten the rear bolt of your sandal. This will secure the sandal into the track. Each sandal has the ability for width adjustment at the forefoot and at the heel. Once you reach your desired width, tighten the four bolts on the sandal. The Meerkat is now set up for posterior use. Knee supports are an accessory for the Meerkat. The knee supports are available in three sizes. They are measured by knee circumference. The size one can accommodate a circumference as small as seven and a half inches, while the size three can accommodate a knee circumference up to 15 inches. The knee supports are moldable. For a larger knee, you're able to open the cup of the knee support. And for smaller knees, you're able to mold them closer in. The knee supports will mount onto the height adjustable column. To mount the knee support, align the universal mounting bracket onto the rear of the height adjustable column. Once you reach your desired height, tighten the bracket onto the column. The knee supports are height, width, and depth adjustable. I have replaced the standard inset screw with a daily adjustment knob, making adjustments in width easy. To adjust the width of the individual knee support, simply loosen the daily adjustment knob and adjust the width support laterally. You will notice markings on the rear of the knee support column. Once you reach your desired width, tighten the column. The second width adjustment is done by a bilateral adjustment. This will allow the knee supports to be adjusted together without changing the measurements between the knee supports. To perform this task, you loosen the five millimeter bolt located in the rear bottom of your mounting bracket. And this will allow bilateral adjustment. 
of your knee support. Once you reach your desired width, tighten the mount back. The next is the depth adjustment. The depth adjustment is performed by the five millimeter screw located on the bottom of your mount. This will allow depth adjustment. The knee support also has an angle adjustable feature. By loosening the five millimeter bolt located at the front of the knee cup, you're able to adjust the angle of the knee support. The knee pad has a unique ratcheting system. There are two ways to use the ratcheting system. One is by inserting the strap for the knee pad and pressing in. The second way to use the ratcheting system is by inserting the knee strap and ratcheting the knee strap in. And to release the strap, you press the center of the ratchet and you're able to release the strap. The Meerkat has an option for a chest and a pelvic support. Both chest and pelvic supports are offered in four sizes, ranging in a circumference of 17 and 3 quarter inches all the way up to the extra large that will accommodate a 43 inch circumference. The chest and pelvic support look extremely similar. There are a couple of differences with the chest and the pelvic support. One difference you will notice is the buckle size. The larger buckle belongs to the pelvic support. The smaller buckle belongs to the trunk support. And the next difference is a difference that you cannot see, but you can feel. On the inside of the pelvic support, there is a small support pad in the center of the pelvic support. On the trunk support, the inner support wraps around laterally. So there's an internal difference as well. To install the pelvic support and the trunk support are very similar to installing the knee support. The pelvic support will mount on the height adjustable column. Remember to loosen your bracket, align the pelvic support with the column, and once you reach your desired height, simply tighten your pelvic support in place. The pelvic support will attach first with a Velcro and second with a buckle. The pelvic support is equipped with a ratcheting system that will allow you to ratchet the pelvic support for derotation as well as a secure fit. The trunk support will attach in the same manner by loosening your universal bra mounting bracket, aligning it with the column. And once you reach your desired height, tighten the bracket onto the column. Securing the trunk and hip support on the Meerkat is performed with first using the Velcro closure, followed by the buckle. To adjust the height of the trunk support, simply loosen the knob located in the rear of the height adjustable column. Loosen the knob, adjust your trunk support to the desired range, and tighten the knob. If you need additional adjustments with the pelvic and the trunk support, or even the knee support, Remember, you can always loosen the mounting brackets and adjust each support individually. The trunk support and pelvic support are both width adjustable. 
To adjust the width, locate the five millimeter bolts in the rear of the trunk support and the pelvic support. Once you loosen the bolt, you're able to adjust the width. The displacement kit can be used on the pelvic or trunk support to obtain proper alignment. To use the displacement kit on the trunk support, you must first unmount the trunk support. The displacement kit has the same universal mounting bracket as the trunk support. The displacement kit will mount on the side track the next step is to remove the inner guide from the mounting support of your trunk support. Once you have removed your mounting guide, your trunk support will slide onto the front of the displacement kit. And remember to reinsert your bolt to secure the trunk support. Once the displacement kit is in place and the trunk support is mounted firmly onto the displacement kit, you can adjust the depth of the trunk support to assist a user with proper body alignment. The displacement kit is also height adjustable. To convert the Meerkat for anterior use, you just simply need to flip your sandals. Loosen the foot plate, slide it over and out of the track, reverse the foot plate and reinsert it into the track. And remember to tighten your sandal once it's in your desired position. Once your meerkat is set up for anterior use, you're able to use the tray. The tray mounts onto the height adjustable column in front of the chest support. One of the most unique features of the Meerkat is with the use of the rocker. The Meerkat easily converts from a static stander to a dynamic stander. To insert the rocker into the base plate of the Meerkat, you must first align the rocker with the rear of the base plate. Pull up on the handle and pull the meerkat onto the base plate. When you release the handle, you will hear an audible click. This indicates the rocker is locked into position. The rocker has multiple adjustments for forward and aft adjustments. There are windows located at the rear of the base plate. These windows will allow you to see the position of the rocker. Once the rocker is in place, you will notice the wheels will no longer contact the surface, nor will they be able to swivel. The base plate is solely rested upon the rocker. It is extremely important to remember best practice is to remove the rocker prior to transferring the user so that you are able to lock your swivel casters. To remove the rocker from the base of the meerkat, pull the handle and push the meerkat forward off the rocker. <laughs> 